So basically, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to simplify a radical, uh, basically what we're going to be looking at is, you know, there's a couple different ways we can do this. We could do one, we could do uh, prime factorization, which means we factor this number. Remember, I've been talking about factoring is writing a number as a product, right? So we, we can prime factorize this. And basically what you do is just, you know, say what, how to re keep on rewriting the number as factors, four times two. You can't leave the class. That's like a, re that's a referral. See you, bud. Uh, so you have 2 times 40. And then you can just keep on doing it. Whenever you have even numbers, it's nice, right? You can always just divide by 2. But obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if you get to large numbers, if you're always dividing by 2, it can kind of be a little cumbersome, right? So maybe you say, all right, well, what other numbers? Well, what about if I did 4 times 10? Then I could factor that to 2 times 2. And 10, I could factor down to 2 times 5. Yeah, absolutely. From the start? Absolutely. Yeah. If you, and what you are going to get is you're going to get the same factorization. All right? And what we want to do is, again, what we're looking into when we're doing this, we're writing it as prime factors, meaning all the factors are prime numbers. And basically what we have is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Would you guys agree with me that 2 times 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 5 is the same thing as 80? Yes? It's just one is written as a product, right? And then the other one is just your number. Well, the reason why we'd like to do this prime factorization is because when we group pairs of them together, we can take the square root of that. For instance, you guys know, or should know, the square root of 4. What is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2. And that means, excuse me, what number multiplied by itself gives you 4? 2, because square root of 2 times 2. So basically what you guys see is the square root of any type of pairs is now just equal to that number. So you have two sets of pairs. Well, that equals the square root of 2 times 2 is 2. Square root of 2 times 2 is 2. And then we can't take the square root of 5, so we leave that on the outside. So it's 4 square root of 5 is your final answer. Okay. Now 